Right now, from officer to inmate, an investigation uncovering meth, weapons, and more. All right. Reaction from inside the cells of Sutter County. Halting the flames. Impressive progress amid rain on the front lines. We've been praying for this weather for a long, 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 long time. The homes still at risk tonight. Painkillers and crime. A dangerous trend in California. Fears it could get even worse. Addicts are determined. KCRA 3 News at 10 on My58 starts right now. And right now, new tonight, a corrections officer who keeps inmates in line in Sutter County is finding himself on the other side of the lockup, facing serious charges tonight. There's always been rumors in the county jail that he used to mess around and stuff like that. Well, tonight, that officer has been accused of methamphetamine and weapons charges. KCRA 3's Mallory Hoff spoke with a former inmate who says he served time under the officer. In a reversal of roles, 37-year-old correctional officer Salvador Vaca Jr. is now the one facing charges. Investigators say he was arrested for possession of methamphetamine for sale and transportation of drugs. Somebody that's a correctional officer is out there doing that kind of stuff? Not right. It's pretty crazy. Sutter County Sheriff's deputies made the arrest after a traffic stop not far from the jail. They say Vaca Jr. was in his personal car. I just know him from being an inmate in the county jail. Anthony Yabara is a recovering meth addict. He described his interactions with Vaca Jr. We just assumed that he was just using because it's just his behaviors. Paranoia and just, you know, loss of weight um, rapidly and just, you know, just the irritable with people and stuff, some of the inmates and stuff like that. After Vaca Jr. was arrested, he was booked here into the Sutter County Jail, the very jail where he works. He was in there with the same people that he locked up. It's kind of ironic. Detectives say the arrest was the culmination of an ongoing investigation. I don't think that he was providing anything to any inmates because he would there was nothing in that like that going on in there. Now he'll have his day in court, a system he knows from the other side. In Sutter County, Mallory Hoff, KCRA 3 